In this tutorial, we will be creating an elevator logical device and adding it to a clearance code. In Hardware Configuration, right-click on the Panels folder, choose New, and click on Logical Device. On the Logical Device description, I will name it Elevator Reader. I will use the hardware template. You may either use Elevator Reader or Elevator Reader Floor Select. For this example, I will use Elevator Reader. Control panel I will be using will be PW6000K panel. You will choose the panel your elevator is associated with. The logical device will use the following hardware class that will stay at Readers. Click on Next. On this screen, go ahead and choose a reader. I will choose the PW6002R address 4 board on used reader 1. And you will notice below it will only assign the elevator reader. Go ahead and click on finish. And on my elevator reader, right click and go to properties. Click on logical device details. And now we will need to assign the elevator outputs. Click on the first output. Click on assign hardware. And you'll notice it will give you a list of available outputs. I will be using unused output point zero. Notice I do have available points below. What the logical device will want to do is assign all the remaining outputs. Go ahead and click OK. This will assign hardware for all elevator outputs. Do you wish to continue? You say yes and it has now assigned all the remaining outputs. Go ahead and click OK. Next, click on Database Configuration and Clearance Codes. Here we are going to create a new clearance code for our elevator access. Right click, go to New Clearance Code. Description, I'm going to call it Elevator Clearance Code. And I will choose Use Elevators in your Logical Device tab. Click on Add. Choose your Elevator Reader. Click OK. It's going to ask you what time the card holders are allowed to use the elevator. I'm going to choose 7 to 4, Monday through Friday. Click OK. And if we go to Elevator Outputs, it now shows all of our elevator outputs with the same time zone of System First Shift, 7 to 4 p.m. All of the elevator outputs will have the same time zone as assigned to the elevator reader. If you would like to change one of the elevator output time zones, Simply click on the elevator output, click on time zone, choose the new time zone you would like for this output, and click on OK. Once finished, go ahead and click OK. This concludes the Elevator Logical Device and Clearance Code Setup. For more information and videos, please visit us at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.